Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habatifillah The aqeedah al-Islam Aqeedah al-Islam here Asasa aladhi yukumu alayhi ad-deen Fala yumkin an yukumu ad-deen al-mar'i Duni an ya'tani bi isla aqeedatihi Ala wifki ma kana alayhi salafan as-salih Rahimahullah ta'ala So aqeedah is the sas of our deen It is the foundation of our religion And it is not possible That one's religion or that the deen uh, is established except with giving importance to correcting and rectifying your aqidah, your creed. And that creed must be in accordance with the creed of the salaf and the salih, meaning our righteous, pious predecessors. Predecessors, beginning with Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, radiyallahu ta'ala majma'een, and the tabi'een with tabi'a tabi'een. And this is articulated from the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, meaning that, that it, it comes from the book and the sunnah. It comes with the understanding of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as he articulated on his tongue, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And so we have to look, when we look at the importance of studying Aqidah, studying creed, even though there's so many people who tell you otherwise, there are many people who are callers, claim to be callers of Islam, have great, immense popularity, but they belittle Aqidah. They belittle the importance of the creed of Islam. And we have to understand that by rectifying our aqidah, our creed, that that is the purpose of creation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنُ وَالْإِنْسِ لِيَعْبَدُونَ I've not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. So that lets us know that the purpose of our creation is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That means what we believe about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how we manifest it through ibadah, through, through worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another important point with regards to aqidah is that aqidah was the dawa and tawheed, which is a part of aqidah, which is the assass of Aqidah, it's the foundation of Aqidah. The assass of Dawah, the origin, the focal point, the place we begin from and we end from is Tawheed, is calling to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, and that is Aqidah. And this was the way of all the prophets. Alayhim afdal salatu wa salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ مِنْ رُسُولٍ إِلَّا نُهِيَا إِلَيْهِ أَنْهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَا أَنَا فَعْبُدُونِي Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem that we did not sin or we, we sent before you, messengers, and they weren't sit except with the revelation that there is no God worthy of worship except me. So therefore, worship me. Worship me alone. This is what Allah Taala says in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitab al-kareem also says, وَلَكَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ رُسُولٍ إِنْ نِعْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَجْتَنِبُ تَعْقُودٍ We sent to every nation a messenger to worship Allah alone and avoid and be away from and free themselves from تَعْقُود Those things worship besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that lets us know that all the NBA, that was their call. That was their mission. Their mission wasn't to overthrow governments. 
Their mission wasn't to question the, the believers and make tech fear of them. Their mission wasn't to establish new political bodies and new groups, new lifestyles. But rather, their mission was to call to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, which is Tawheed Khalis. Aqidah to Sahiha, the correct Aqidah, is from one of the bab, uh, one of the asbab, one of the ways, one of the means for you to enter paradise and be, and avoid the hellfire. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Fi kitab al kareem wa qala al-Masih, Ya bani Israel, abudu Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbukum." Innuhu man yushrik billahi fakar haram Allahu alayhi al janna wa ma'wahu an nar wa ma lil zalimina min ansar Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al Kareem in Surah Al Maida verse 72 He tabarak wa ta'ala says and say al Masih so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was addressing Isa Jesus alayhi salatu was salam He said say to the, the children of Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel, uh, of Israel, Abdullah, worship Allah, my Lord and your Lord. Verily, those who commit shirk with Allah, they ascribe partners. They worship Jesus along with Allah. They worship Uzair. They worship anyone with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. The angels, anything. إِنَّهُ مَنْ يُشْرِكْ بِاللَّهِ Whoever worships along with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala فَقَدْ حَرَمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ a jannah. Allah has prohibited Jannah for them. وَمَأْوَاهُمْ نَارِ And their abode is the hellfire. وَمَا لِلْظَالِمِينَ مِنْ انصار. And for those who their wicked sinners, the wicked oppressors, they, ha- they will have no supporters. And who is the most of the wicked oppressors? Those people who associate partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because they've oppressed, they've taken the right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and given it to someone else by worshiping other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We can only worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Azza wa jal. So I ask Ahabatifillah, I have two questions in the comments, Ahabatifillah. The first is what is the assas of the deen? What is the, the, the foundation of the deen? Meaning according to what we said, what is the uh, most important foundation of the religion? And secondly, mention one reason for the importance of studying Tawheed. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.